Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you so much for watching this video as we're going to be talking about the trade that just went down between the Miami Dolphins and the Washington football team, um, in which they're going to be sending guard Eric Flowers to the Washington football team. It's going to be a deal that involves some late round draft picks, some swapping there. So we'll have to pay attention and see just what that entails. But it could be some, you know, late rounders for this year, maybe even next year as well. We'll see how that shapes up. But yeah, this deal was meant to free up some cap space for the Dolphins and allow the Washington football team to acquire an offensive lineman and therefore free up the utilization of their early draft picks for positions in which they can just draft the best player that would be made available in the draft, maybe even move up and get their quarterback of the future. I think Washington is going to be aggressive in moving up to acquire their quarterback, whether it be a Trey Lance or a Justin Fields, we'll see. But I do think that they will be aggressive in terms of moving up because Ryan Fitzpatrick has a history of being up and down. And although last year was a great season in terms of when he did get the play, I just think that they're going to want to have um, another quarterback, obviously, for long term as well, especially with all the talent that they currently have, you know, for the future already. So that being said, um, I like the trade here is um, definitely one that we'll keep an eye on to see how this pans out for both teams. Um, Eric Flowers, previously, he was a first round pick when he came out of the University of Miami in 2015, but in the Giants took him. He played there up until 2019, which is when he was converted to a guard and he played guard for the Miami Dolphins last season. Um, so the Washington football team will continue to utilize him as a guard, at least that's the expectations moving forward. But it's nice to know that you have a player that can also play tackle as well. He has that experience. So, yeah, definitely um, a good trade here. And we'll see how this ends up working out for both teams. Obviously, this will have some some day three implications in the draft, but we'll just have to see um, those details once they're released. But definitely um, a good trade. And I can understand why both teams made the trade and we'll continue to monitor how that works out. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, as more NFL news continues to drop, you can be sure to find it here. So be sure to um, press that like and subscribe button um, as I'll be sure to drop news every time they um, come down. So thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.